You know what I hate? White backdrops. What's that? There's one behind me, isn't there? Hey guys, James Wedmore here showing you how to make better marketing videos for your business. And in today's video, as you can most likely guess, we're gonna show you how to light a white solid color backdrop for your video so you have a fancy looking Apple commercial. How cool is that? Now, one of the reasons why I love the white backdrops, I was kidding, I really do love them, is because the branding is very crisp, clear, and professional. That's reason number one. Reason number two, if you're doing anything with like text and images inside your video, uh, it's very easy to do that on a white backdrop as opposed to if you were in a natural setting like your home office. And number three, no, there were only two reasons. However, I will say that it's gonna be a little trickier to, to light the white backdrop. It's gonna take a total of five lights and for most people, a little playing around with. It's a lot easier for us to film with the DSLR because we can adjust the exposure settings and get it just right. But today we're just gonna really talk about how to position the lights, how to set up the lights properly and how to go uh, do that. So how's that sound? Let's, let's go ahead and walk in there right now. What do you say? Okay, here we are on the set uh, with the white background behind me. And um, there's a few steps I'm gonna take you through to set it up. The first step is to get the white background. We'll have links below to the one that we recommend. It's in it. it's an Amazon product, Cowboy Studio white backdrop. It comes with the stand and everything. Uh, it's nice, it's portable, and it's inexpensive. We're in a photography studio, so we're using ones that roll out. It's very nice, very fancy, but not everyone has that luxury. So the first step is to get the backdrop and to set it up. And you wanna position it about three feet from where you're standing. So there should be the backdrop, three feet, and then you, the subject. And then we want to position the camera. The camera is about another three to three to four feet from me. Uh, so, you know, we can reach out about four feet and almost touch that camera. So that's, that's our positioning with the camera. You can see the camera's eye level and I'm probably most likely in the center, middle third, in that upper third uh, horizontally. The next thing we want to do is start lighting our set. The first lighting step is to light the white backdrop. This is where people kind of go wrong is they either don't light the white backdrop or they uh, light it poorly. So we're taking two fluorescent lights and we're getting them as close to the backdrop as possible aimed at about a 45 degree angle. So you can actually see what happens if I don't have these lit. And there's a backdrop without any light on it. Doesn't have that fancy white overexposed look anymore, does it? Not too fun. So let's put those back on. Okay, pretty simple and straightforward. The next thing we want to do is light you, the subject, or whoever's going to be on camera. And uh, we want to use a separate set of lights. So uh, just like we lit the backdrop at a 45 degree angle, we're going to take two additional lights and from either side light at a 45 degree angle. So the first one is going to be uh, our key light, which is our primary light hit a, hitting us on a 45 degree angle. So we get this half of our face, right? It doesn't matter which side, as long as you choose one side. And then we take a fill light, which for me, I like to pull it back a little bit or have it a little bit le uh, less bright and fill in all those shadows, okay? So that way, I got light coming from both directions. Now, because we're using the Cowboy Studio fluorescent lighting kit, it's a three-piece kit, um, we have a third one, an overhead light that we've turned on as well. That gives a little highlight and depth to the top of my head, which is nice as well, so you can do that. Um, so that's it, that's as simple as it is. Now, the, the last thing you're gonna need to do is, depending on what type of camera you have, like a DSLR, you're gonna wanna play around with your exposure settings until you get the white, just popping and crystal clear, and then you are uh, you know, in focus and, and colored properly so that it looks good, kind of like this. Um, that's it, and then like I said, it'd be really cool if you put yourself in one of the thirds and you have some text coming up on the screen. Very visual when you, when you add text on top of what you're talking about, it really uh, uh, makes your content punch and takes it to the next level. So that's it, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, that's okay, nobody's perfect. Go do that now by clicking the link below this video. And if you have a comment, if you have a question, if you wanna make fun of me or you wanna pray me. I'll take them both. Leave those comments below this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. There are five essential videos that every online business owner needs. Do you have them? 
In this free training series, I'll introduce you to these five videos that can start working for you to produce more traffic, more leads, and of course, more customers in your business. Once you register on the next page, I'll show you exactly what to say in these videos, how to make them, and then what to do with them to get maximum exposure. And the best part, you can do it all without any prior video experience and with little money. You can't afford to ignore video any longer. Isn't it time you do it right? Click the link below to get started now.